बोलिए भाई सब संतन की जय जय सब कबीर साहिब की जय ब्लेसिंग्स टू ईच एंड एवरीवन ऑफ यू आई जस्ट अ क्विक रिमाइंडर बिफोर वी बिगिन जस्ट टू मैनेज योरसेल्फ आई डू नो वी आर इन अ सिचुएशन इन द कंट्री दैट रिक्वायर्स एवरीवन टू कोऑपरेट सो आई बेयर विद यू आई अर्ज ऑफ यू टू जस्ट लुक एट द नॉर्मल प्रोटोकॉल्स एज वी प्रोसीड टुडे मैनेज योर डिस्टेंस द क्राउडिंग एंड द गैदरिंग and most importantly i'm sure that your mask is over your nose know, properly been worn as we stand we bow our heads in prayer as we gather today in the ramsur family to perform this sanskar for our beloved brother our friend our cousin our father our husband as he graduates into the higher region of existence the cosmos in the company of satguru kabir sahib we offer our prayer and salutations to this divine soul taking this mantle in a higher level of existence we bow our head in prayer oh ham जग जल सीचे मोल तिरु साका पात्र हागार राम कृष्ण से को बड़ा इन हो तू गुरु की तीन लोग कहे वेर नहीं गुरु आगे हारीन साहेब गुरु आगे हारी गुरु दो के तो मा बे नड़त द्वारे प्रगत दर्शन दीजिए गुरु स्वामी आ सोनो
good for the design. Do not forsake me this time. From age to age, I have wandered aimlessly. Everything I sold myself unto the hands of death. For joint hands, I pray to thee, O Lord, be with me and do not forsake me this time. The river of this mortal world is fearless indeed. Angry waves dash on each and every side. The crocodiles of illusion and attachment lie waiting on each one. Even the greatest of the soul, the riches, the monies, the pious men, are all swept away and swollen up in time. The ship of Shabd, of Kabir, captain by the such guru, is the only host. O Lord, a multiple such a to be sahin, for whichever soul should board the ship is certain to be saved in the twinkling of an eye. This is my prayer for Savior of the Nick. Do not forsake me this time. Bone Sakuru Kari Sahi Viki. Bone Sakuru Kari Sahi Viki. Rajna Tiki. Sakuru Kari Sahi Viki. You will lead off in the jewelry. We pass around with these rice that you should lead us into it. We say our humble prayer and our forgiveness on our mercy. We offer this prayer for Sahib Ji. I refer to him as Sahib Ji. Because in his lifetime, he had done so many different things to make society become open and give them that touch of hope. He would have interacted with each and every one of you in some way or the other, making you a better person, uplifting you in some way. I remember Sahib Raj to be very, very profound in the devotion of drums. Kirtana. He was heavily involved with drums. His devotion always put him first. Attending temple, he was very, very keen with music. And this had reminded him with me. Remember him for this contributions that he had been given. It is said a sadhu living must go through certain things of her practicing dharma. And without a shadow of a doubt, Sahib Raj had fulfilled that. Fulfilling his dharam very properly with music. Dharam, ard, karam. And when these things are fulfilled, it is said that the divine soul attains mokri, something which we all long and our purpose in life is for. Kabir Sahib teaches us in Asati, Manal Jinam Dullabha Hai Milna Bharam Bhar Pankta Pal Jo Gheed Paar Bahori Nala Gheeda In this Sati is teaching us that never things happen for granted or by mistake. It is said when individuals fulfill all their karmic actions and karmic deeds, then a promotion is entitled for that person. Just like a fruit in a tree when it is full and ripe and nourishing, it becomes what? Detached from this tree. Just so the human being the soul, when they fulfill all their karmic actions, they fulfill all their duties, love and affection, such Guru Kabir Sahib comes for them for a higher existence, a higher upliftment. Prince is such Guru Kabir Sahib. So just a reminder. The jewelry passing around. We don't want to have any ties, any sort of uh, difficulties, as they say, to the divine soul. As they say, the soul is on a journey, a very sacred journey. And uh, any ties that we may have, good or bad, karma exists in good or bad forms, good or bad, we want to release that and offer our humble blessing. Not only this soul is being blessed here today. But all of us here who are participating in your attendance here as well, give us the assurance of blessing as well. Because it is our mission in this world to obtain this higher level of existence. So the jewelry will come to you. Please hold it. Make sure no rice is fallen. Take your time. Bhajan will continue. And those of you who just want to come and take a viewing nature, we allow the family is allowing that to take place during the ceremony. 
please come forward and you can view the body as the ceremony is going on. So we allow this accommodation because we don't want one at the end. Everybody coming up at the same time for obvious reasons. So during the program itself, please come forward and you can view the body. You will have beautiful budgets. This is a very uh, auspicious time as we say, not a sad time. Kabir's I always mention that journey of the Antishri Samskar, which is the 16th, the final Samskar, is a very blessing to all those who are involved and take part in it. Not only the family becomes blessed, not only the children become blessed, but all the community members are blessed because this soul is technically saying thank you to each and every one of you for having this existence, having the interaction. And therefore, we give our salutations to the soul as well as he makes that journey towards Satlu in the company of Satlu Kabir Sahib. Prince Satlu Kabir Sahib. Jai. Now, while budget is going on as well, I, I'm seeing in all mist, Mohans and well wishers. I see Mohan Guru, I see Mohan Dai, Mohan Dipi, Mohan Kishore, Mohan Mukesh, I, many other invited guests. Those of you who wish to come and see a few words after the family members, feel free to come and see a few words. You're all welcome. As we say, we are all together in this as one family. We are always in a difficult time. We don't know when our time will be. This is like a wake up call for us always in funerals. It's a wake up call to remind us just to be reminded that this opportunity for graduation, I didn't refer to as death, could happen to anybody at any time. Princess of the We are saddened. Raj, as we knew him, was a polite, trusted, respectable man. He was an exemplary person to all of his colleagues. They are all here this morning, all the other motor vehicle drivers and persons he would have worked with. I know they, they were very, very close. I myself would have interacted with, with Raj over the years and it has it was a very, very good experience. You know, he's somebody you could have depended on and well respected. These times are difficult for all of us and I want to, you know, to encourage the, the family, friends and well wishers to, to stay strong and continue to, to have the faith. Our spirit, spirituality is what is keeping us right now in these times. So I just wanted to, to bring greetings on behalf of the executive management, Ms. Green, Ms. Williams, Mr. Bihari Singh, and all the other co-workers in Nalis and persons he would have touched in the 25 years he spent with the organization. So I thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank 
since we have come into this world, when will be our last breath? We must always be prepared. The four bearers will take this body to the site of the cremation. That will be the final part in this person scar. And this scar is the person's personality.
And the meaning is that when we reach on, when we realize what we do not know when is our last breath. So we must always be prepared. touch all of us in the community, uplifting us and giving us a smile, always sharing some joyous activities, giving us a message. Every time you see him in the road, he always come and he talk to us and so on. And if I have to have all the time in the world, everyone could simply come and say a full set of information about Brother, Brother, Brother Raj. At this point, I call on an individual who is dear to him, who know the village and know him well, 
I call upon uh, Sahel Ruti uh, to come to say a few words and also all Mahans or any Mahans wish to come and say a few words as well, follow through, please feel free to come. Uh, once again, uh, you can come and view the body as we proceed as with the discussions, just to save on time. Princess at Kudu Kabiru Sahib, please. Just a reminder again, make sure your mask and your distance, just monitor it and to uh, nudge the person next to you if you see them, sort of, you know, the mask and so on. Just look out for, you know, brother's keeper to maintain serenity and safety. Princess at Kudu Kabiru Sahib, please. Thank you, Sahib. Mahant, bereaved family, friends, well wishes. On behalf of all of us here, and including my family, we express condolences to the bereaved family here. We know what it is to face this situation and it's gratifying that all of us can be here to render support to the family. I have known Raj since he was growing up. He comes from a very humble family. He himself was very humble, quiet, unassuming, and I never heard Raj speak harshly. Uh, I had the privilege of working with him as well in the business. So I know him quite well. I know his father, his mother. I was a regular visitor, visitor to this home when his parents was alive. We had that close bond. To let the younger ones know, and this is information for us all here, the Ram Bihari family, the Ram Suru family, and the Ram Logan family are very close-knit in this village. And it seems as, as the younger ones grow up, that bond is dying away. Even a few, uh, two nights ago, when I came here, I was inquiring who is Rad's son. I did not know, right? But so then I was introduced to tell you that the bond, bonding in the family unit, in the village unit, is losing its substance now, is losing that what it takes to get us together. And as a village, as a community, as a family, we should try and, you know, promote that bond. And drumming as well. Raj has followed that footstep. I know he beats the drum, the tassa as well. He too sings, and he has followed that tradition. They have all stuck to their religion following Kabir Das. And that is so commendable. And it is noted that in this village, the Kabir followers are very bonded together. And that is so commendable. So, Raj, I know, he worked, uh, I think, a small stint at Wasser as well, and then he joined the Nalis Library. Uh, and there he worked until now. But life and death, uh, particularly death, is inevitable. As one is born, one starts dying immediately. 
soon as one is born, death starts taking its course. And the question was asked to Dhammaraj once, what is the greatest mystery on earth? The greatest mystery is what we are seeing here today. People die, and yet we think we will not die. So it's a course, a journey, the final journey of all of us, death. So we have to be prepared for that occasion, that final destination, which is called death. And how we do that? We have to follow our dharma, our religion, and be a good person, loving, kind, and get rid of all the negative qualities that lies within us. I think Raj is a, an example of that, that he showed no malice, hate, and he always maintained his calm, and he followed his religion rel religiously as well. So we want to, on behalf of the family here, uh, thank you all for coming as well. And we wish that Kabir Sahib will give the family that strength and resilience to face this reality. Satna. Thank you so much, Sahib Bihari, for those kind words, very meaningful words, to help us support in this journey here again. Uh, at this point, I would like to call upon one of the Mahans as well, to Sahib uh, Mahant Niru Bipat, to say a few words with us. Dude, I think uh, you know he's a very close member to the family as well, and he shared with kind words, kind gesture. Just a reminder again, those of you who wish to view the body can come and do so at this point in time. Bolye Sadguru Kabir Sahib Ki Jai. Friends, family, devotees. Hey, Raj, as he says, uh, you know, he grew up in this village. He lives where I born and grew up two houses after. He is, you know, my father's sister, one child. Um, as you all know, he was very talented in drumming and he goes from place to place singing his little bhajan, something with the group. So today, I wouldn't say anything much, but I would just sing this little bhajan because, you know, his dad is to sing and he used to play drum for all of us while we are singing, right? So I just sing this little bhajan thing. Of course, it's a bhajan that everyone knows, so you can be enjoy it here. Santa Milan ko jaye Taj mamata abhiman जो जो पग आगे धरे त्यो त्यो जग समान मोपु का हाथों दे बंदे मैं तो तेरे पास में मोपु का नाथीरत में नामूरत में नायाकंत निवास में नाथीरत में नामूरत में नायाकंत निवास में नायाकंत निवास में नामंजल में नामस्किल में नाकाशी कैलाश में मोको का आजूबे मंदे मैं जो तेरे पास में ना मैं जप में ना मैं तप में ना मैं वर्त उपास में ना मैं जप में ना मैं तप में 
they would have two beautiful children, Rhea and Raya. Raju moved around several times in his early career before joining the government service as a driver and finally making his way to the National Library and Information Systems Authority, a job that gave him great pride and purpose, driving the mobile library to schools and rural communities. The entire time, Raju also worked as a taxi driver from the St. Mary's Junction, servicing this very community. Please permit me to read a few tributes. Firstly, I read a daughter's tribute on behalf of my cousin Ria, his daughter. This is the hardest thing I have ever had to do. For the past two days, I keep asking myself, are there any words good enough to speak of my loving dad, Rajnath Ramsaru? To some of the family, he was called Uncle Raju, and some megas. My dad was such a kind, loving, and humble person. He was very hardworking and sacrificed so much for his family and went without things for himself at times. He was loved by so many, his co-workers, his boss, friends, neighbors, and most importantly, love by family. Family meant everything to him. I feel so grateful to have had as much time with my dad as I did. I miss him so much already, and I will forever remember having the most incredible dad. I don't know how long it will take me to grieve this tremendous loss. My dad was the most important person in my life, and I feel heartbroken to no longer have him here with us. His memory will forever carry on. I cherish the memories I have with him, and I know he is smiling down on all of us. Shien, I thank you all for coming out today to celebrate the memory of my amazing father. As I thought of this eulogy, tributes poured in on Facebook and in face on phone calls to my father's phone. Please allow me to read it of various members of our family who also pay tributes to Raju. No one can ever say that they ever see, see you angry, or cuss, or anything bad about you. Always kind, always soft-spoken, helpful. One of the baddest Tassama, Dola player, keyboard, all wrong instrumental, singer, welder, respectable taxi driver, truck driver. I can go on and on. Another. All my life growing up, I have never seen you angry, vexed, or talk loud to me or anyone. You are the kindest, most soft-spoken and loving person. Also very funny and full of fun and entertainment. You always had a smile on your face. I am going to miss you so much, Uncle. Another. Raj is and was the calmest, loving, helpful brother. The most anyone could ever have. I miss him clear dearly. One more. He was always such a light and jovial presence. But two things that Raju was always very serious about were his love for family and his great respect for music and culture. I quote these and there are so many more like them. They show the very consistent mark of this man on all those whom he associated with. Everyone he knew, who knew him in every sphere of his life, his work, his family, his community, as a Tassa man, as a Dola player, you name it. Nobody knew a different Raju than the other. Though these adjectives we describe him by may appear so simple, they are absolutely true. We who know him by these descriptions can appreciate the true depth and breadth. When we say Raju was a patient man, he was a supremely patient man. To say he was kind is to say he was never unkind. To say he was hardworking, devoted, talented, and many of the above to do, is to say he was exceptionally so. I boil these all down to one simple word, love. Patience is love, sacrifice is love, working hard to take care of your family is love. Kindness is love. We all love differently, and these were his ways. Raju took the time. He made the effort. He took great pride in teaching us to play tassa and other instruments, and all the tassa life lessons that would come with it. How to carry yourself as a musician, and how to behave, how to respect your art and your instrument as part of your devotion. 
it gave him great joy as he sat as a family and sang and played music. He was in his element. I understand now how, when we played Tasa together, or sang and danced together as a family, how connected we were, as if our hearts were beating with the same rhythm. It was mesmerizing to see him in his craft. His hands were so strong, yet skilled and gentle. The way Tasa's stick would roll, or how his fingers would rattle the dollar, or even how he wove ski with a welding rod, he made it all look like art. In Tasa, he always said, it is not how long or how long, it is how sweet. What a metaphor for his life. Not how long, not how long, but how sad it is. How sweet. To Ria, Ryan, and Tanti Mala, and the rest of us, he has left us with broken hearts. But let us mend them with what he has left in our hearts, the way he loved. To our dear Raju, uncle, brother, father, husband, our musical maestro, our ustadji. We thank you for your love and for the music. I give you my pronouns. Thanks, Sadhguru Kabir Sahib Ki. Thank you very much, Abhinash, and such a beautiful eulogy. I think they deserve a round of applause. In favor and glorifying, he's in the company of Sadhguru Kabir Sahib. And to have an influence like that level upon the, the community, the children, the family members should be remembered and bet your bottom dollar that it does not go until. That indeed is a positive influence that is remembered as karmic actions and positivity. Thank you, Sadhguru Kabir Sahib Ki. Jai. I thank each and every one of you here. As we proceed into Aditi, I ask you to stand. Family members with lead off flowers, followed by the RT with perfume, and uh, we will proceed down to the Mosquito Creek cremation ground. You have to reach there in a particular time, as you know. So please offer your salutations where you stand as well. You can offer your devotion, offer your prayer, because energy travels in different lengths and different waves. You offer your prayer, and let this be a rem remembrance for us as well, because Kabir Sahib in a teaching. He teaches us, Kabir, Kabira jag hama paida hoe, jag hase hamadoe, aisi karini kar chalo hama hase jagadoe. In this beautiful Saki, he says that when a person comes into this world, he will be crying while others are laughing. Let their duties and mission be such that when they leave this world, they would be laughing while others are in sorrow knowing that a genuine divine soul has gone. Prem says Sadhguru Kabir Sahib Ki Jai.
Yeah man, loving your safety, right?